the reason the stock took a hit this year was that they uh, got back a lot of their uh, programs that they had licensed to Cephalon uh, six years ago. Uh, Cephalon got bought by another company called Teva. Uh, Teva took a look at the program and decided it was non-core for them. So they handed the program back. Market thought that was a disastrous situation. I take the view that it's great because they can take an improved suite of uh, programs that were licensed to Cephalon six years ago. They get them back and they can license them to a, another partner, uh, I'm hoping in the not too distant future. So uh, that's the first um, uh, positive, I think, uh, to, to look that I have on Mesoblast. The other thing to keep in mind is that um, the stock may only be close to $1 as opposed to $11 several years ago, but they now are looking for FDA approval of their first product and they've got three other programs in phase three. So this is a very mature story. At the end of June, they were holding 81 million US dollars in cash. And the burn rate is about one or $2 million a month um, un underlying for, for these guys. So they're quite well funded for uh, several years of development. Uh, their first uh, FDA approval is coming up next year. So they'll be in a position to talk about um, commercial revenues from some of their early products um, uh, before the existing cash pool runs out. So I, I feel very comfortable about their funding position. I think um, uh, they've got everything they need to, to get re-rated. Um, I've been watching Mesa Blast since about 2009, and I've never seen them put a foot wrong in terms of getting bad clinical data. The data is always very good. Uh, I think they need to market themselves a little more, um, uh, and they'll also benefit from rising interest in stem cell therapies uh, amongst investors. Um, we're seeing a lot more interest from Big Pharma in uh, licensing stories. Uh, uh, related to getting hold of other people's um, uh, stem cell therapies. And I believe if Mesoblast can relicense the products that it had previously licensed to Cephalon slash Teva, then, um, then th they'll definitely come back into favour at that time. The bear case is they just bump along at around a dollar. Uh, they've been consistently holding up uh, somewhere between a dollar and two dollars for, for some time. Um, so to me, the bear case is that uh, you, you just don't break out of that um, narrow range they've fallen into.